All right, nothing fancy here. Just a quick video to walk through the process of creating a luminance mask in PixInsight. Uh, first thing, if we're going to create a luminance mask, is we need an image. I'll go ahead and open up this image right here. Uh, this is an image I shot of M101. This is the color, the color data for that image. Um, second thing we need to do is we need the screen transfer function so that we can have a look at our image and just see what we're dealing with here. So I'll go ahead and do an auto stretch here. You can see this is still a linear image. I'll do an auto stretch here and I'll also there's a zoom to fit just so I can get a little bit larger look at the data. So if I want to create a luminance mask for this image here, what I first need to do is extract the luminance. Um, with the RGB channels I want to go image, click on extract, and then extract lightness. You can do this as well with a regular grayscale image. Another way that you can do this is you can just hit this little icon up here at the top, the extract CIL, CIEL component. It's the same thing. Extract the lightness. And so you see what we get here is we get a grayscale copy of our RGB image from above. But you can also see this is still linear as well. So I'll do the auto screen stretch. And just to keep things straight, I'll rename this luminance mask. And now in order to make this mask more useful and more permanent, I need the histogram transformation tool. What I'll do is I'll take the little triangle from the corner of the screen transfer function. And I'll simply drag it down onto the histogram transformation tool and I'll drag it and drop it right here in this bottom toolbar somewhere in this bottom bar and you'll see that changed our curve right there now that I've taken the screen transfer function and dragged it down here I can turn it off on this image returning it back to its true linear or taking away the screen stretch so that we can see it in its true linear state and then from the histogram transformation now, I can drag that screen transfer function from earlier onto my mask and make it permanent. There I have a luminance mask that's all ready for use. Now I, I will oftentimes go ahead and set the black point here as well. But that's what it takes to create my mask. Now if I just want to use that luminance mask, I just take it drag it over here into this part of the toolbar this kind of left side of the to left side toolbar on my regular image and just drop it and you'll see that the red indicates masked areas and the the uh, white areas indicate areas where the signal is getting through so I can if I want to go mask and invert the mask I can see even better now that what the mask is covering and I'll just, I usually hit Control K, I'm showing you on the menu here, mask and show mask, to hide the mask so that I can see my image again, and I can go to work on it from there. From here, I can do linear noise reduction. Um, I can use this mask for decomp a high signal to noise ratio mask for deconvolution. I can also invert the mask here so that I'm protecting the really high signal areas and not so much the low signal areas, and I can do linear noise reduction here. And that's pretty much the whole process of creating a, a luminance mask. Thanks for watching.